Sometimes you need to share your simple and out information with users that you may not want to actually be on the board themselves. Maybe you have a situation where you have some maintenance staff or somebody who's coming in and out occasionally who needs to be able to see who's in and out of the office, but you don't want them to appear there. Maybe you have a situation where you have a television screen or some computer where you'd like to display the board, but you don't want to leave somebody signed in there all day. And maybe you have a wiki or an internal intranet or website for the company, and you'd like to display the board information there for everybody who's using that website. But again, you don't want them to have to sign in. For any of those situations and more, Simple and Out has a great feature called public links that will allow you to generate a URL that you can provide people that they don't need to use, they don't need to log in, they don't need to authenticate themselves in order to be able to see that information. So today let's take a look at public links and how easy they are to set up. So I'm gonna click settings here in the upper right. And then once I've clicked settings, I'm gonna click public links over here on the left. Now, as you can see, I don't have any public links yet, but let's go ahead and create one. So I'll click the add public link. And right away, I'll have a couple of very uh, small decisions I'll have to make. First, I can have this public link available for everyone. So, uh, so everyone shows up on the board. But if you use our groups feature in Simple and Out, uh, you can restrict this public link to only a certain group. Uh, for now, I'll just leave this for everyone. And then last updated time. So this shows whether the time that the status update occurred. And you can choose whether or not you want that to be visible or whether you, or not you want that to be invisible. So if you'd like to display that time, you can show it. And if not, you don't have to. Um, for now, I'll just leave this as visible. And let's create a public link. So once this finishes and we have our public link, you'll notice that we display that group and last updated time setting there. So you can see how you set that. And then we provide you with two links, a public board URL and a full screen board URL. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of these. So I'm going to click and open this in a new window. And you'll see right here, I have my board. So this is a public board. You can provide this to anybody. They don't need to be signed in. They see exactly this thing. You'll notice that all that information on the right uh, to update your own status, that's gone because of course you're not signed in as a user when you're looking at this information. Just like our regular board, this board automatically reloads. So if you can leave it open, uh, you can still use our group selectors and search. You still have access to our settings so you can uh, make this board look exactly the way you want it to. It works really great. Let's go ahead and hop back and take a look at the full screen board. And the full screen board is the same as full screen mode on the web. It just automatically opens up into full screen mode by default. And so this works really great if you're want this presentation or if you're handing this to somebody who, um, uh, who uh, you want this to come up right away and they don't have access to a keyboard, uh, in that case, maybe a television screen. So this works out really well. Let's go ahead and edit the settings here and we'll show those alternate settings. So now I can make the, let's hide these update times and let's restrict this to just the, just the mortgage consultants. So we just want to display mortgage consultants. We'll assume we want to give this to somebody else. Maybe we want to put this on our website and then we'll uh, last updated time. We'll just hide that because we don't want to show everybody uh, on the website that uh, what time that people arrived at the office. All right, so now that we have this, let's go ahead and pull up one of these links and take a look at how this changed. So now you'll notice we just have the mortgage consultants. We can't use the group selector anymore. And this list is no longer nine or 10 people deep. It's only five. It's only the people who are considered mortgage consultants. And uh, you'll notice the last updated times are blank. If I just flip into full screen mode here, no last updated times. So you can only display this information, but it works out really well if we wanted to display this on a public website then. And you can also have as many public links as you like. But let's assume for one moment in time that your public link gets into the hands of somebody you don't want, uh, then it's very easy for you to just delete the public link. And once I click edit here, um, if I click the delete public link uh, button or link here, uh, this will automatically destroy the link, it'll stop working, and then you can uh, generate a new one if you wish. Uh, the last thing I wanna point your attention to is some extra options that we provide. So here under more info, I can click and fold this down and you can, you can add these additional options to the end of the URL in the form of a query string. We show an example of that right up here in italics. And so you can specify things like, for example, in full screen mode, how many columns of users are displayed or the font size. We have things like uh, what group displayed or what sort displayed. Some various other things that you could do. 
again, to form one big URL, you can hand somebody that just automatically shows up exactly the way you'd like it to. This is again, very helpful if you have a, uh, maybe a digital signage product where you don't have a keyboard and a mouse, you just have a URL you can put in. You can choose some of the presentational options in that URL itself. That's an advanced feature, uh, but a lot of our people with digital signage find that very useful. So this is public links, a great way to share your board information with people who aren't actually on your board.